guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up a GPT-3 or a chat GPT powered widget as quickly as possible using Vercel and Project Atlas. Uh, it only takes five minutes to deploy your own chat GPT powered products now. So let's quickly go to this URL which will be available in the description. This is a GitHub repository, sign up to GitHub and then click use this template. Click create a new template and call it whatever you want. Um, let's see, um, GPT-3 template test, okay. It's now going to create the repo. Now if it's created, we want to scroll down and copy these environment variables. Copy it into a text file, like I have done here, and then fill it out. So add in your logo add in the name of the app, add in a summary, all this will be placed into the app for you. Um, an example input, and here you put, put your OpenAI key, which you get from OpenAI.com, um, and then your system message, this is your prompt. So uh, this is where you describe it, because it's using uh, the chat GPT API. You use the system message to describe what to do. You can put your prompts in here and a template, and then once you have all this set up, copy it, Go to Vercel and create Add New Project. Click Import on the repository we just created. Open up Environment Variables. And in this uh, first input box, just paste in everything we just copied. And it'll automatically fill it in for you, especially your OpenAI key. And then click Deploy. Now that now, if you use this method, it actually stores your key securely in Vercel as an environment variable instead of in the code or in GitHub or anything like that. So now we just wait about 50 seconds for it to go. Um, while we're waiting, we can use uh, GPT-3. Uh, sorry, we can use Cheat Layer and Project Atlas to generate a landing page. And this is the phrase that you use to generate it. Uh, there's a there's a copy of this phrase available in the GitHub repo. You can make your own version to make your own custom design and UI. So if you don't want the, the basic UI, you can create your own uh, custom UI for whatever you want. So you can uh, also build this iteratively and say things like uh, change change the text contact us to motivational quotes. Um, and there it goes. See, it updated it to motivational quotes. Uh, you can also tell it to use like different sections, different number of inputs, uh, different styles, anything like that. Once you have that output, open it. Make sure to open the downloaded output file and then check the um, HTML. So you can do right click and view source. And copy this HTML. Go back to your GitHub repo. And this is how you publish new widget formats. Uh, go to add file. Under the public template, under the public um, folder, go to public, go to add file, paste in the code, and then up here call it whatever you want, like test5.html. Then scroll all the way down and click commit new file. And automatically, um, it'll actually build the next version for you. So, oh, okay, so this is now done. When we go back to Vercel, we can continue to dashboard and click visit to see our generated output. So this is the basic template one. So this is the one I made. You can use your system message. It generates motivational quotes. You can do whatever you want. But also, you see down here, it's now building the new version where we created our custom output using Project Atlas. In about uh, 50 seconds, this should be live as well. So we can watch it. <clears throat> and there it goes. It's done. All right, let's go to the new version. We have to go to test5.html, and here it is. And there's the output. Pretty cool. So you can generate your own custom widget, your own custom design, whatever you want, uh, instead of the basic template one that we created. Uh, and this is basically the fastest way to go from prompt to an MVP and deploy your chat GPT powered products using Cheat Layer and Project Atlas. All right, thank you guys.